Hi, today we'll talk about three sum closest problem. It is, it belongs to two pointer coding pattern and we will first talk about what the question is all about. So they will provide us some nums, the integer array, and they will also provide a target. And they're expecting that find three integers in nums such that the sum is closest to target. So the sum should be closest to target. Just consider this example. In this example, minus one, two, one, minus four, target is one. So uh, the expected is answer is output is two. Why? Because when we add these three numbers, we get the answer two, and two is closest to one. If you add, let's suppose these three numbers, two, one, minus four, it will result minus one and minus one is two digit away from one and two is next to it. So that why it is the answer. Now let's see how it, this question belongs to two coding, two point coding pattern. And uh, we will also see how we can solve this question using the same template. All right, so now in this question where they will provide some nums, it will be an array of numbers in this case, we can take the same example that is minus one, two, one, and minus four. And the target sum is expected is one. We have to find what is expected. They were expecting something which is closest to one. First, we will look at this question and see that does it belongs to some coding pattern. We can see the first thing that we, are, we were given some array of numbers. The second part they were expecting from us some set of numbers like three digit. So expected is set of numbers. Third thing they were looking for some constraint they were providing some constraint that constraint is about that the sum of that is operation plus it should be closest to our target which is provided so this is what was expected now this array sum can be sorted in that case we can see that these three condition is going to complete the first thing is that array is given we can sort it they have they were expecting some set of numbers and with the provided constraint we can apply the same three two pointer coding pattern how we can apply that that is uh, pretty simple i already told about that we can sort this array first so we will get this like minus one one two and four that is the first thing we sort the array and next we will take the first pointer which is considered as green and rest of this array we will we will use two pointer coding pattern and once that will be complete at this level we will use two pointer coding pattern at this level in the next step what we will do we will take this array and we will consider this gone and we will take the green pointer next and left pointer will be here right pointer will start from the end we will again apply two pointer coding pattern at this level and similarly we will keep on going so here that is gone that is gone the next step will be here that will be the green pointer and left pointer, right pointer from here. Again, we will apply two pointer coding pattern and we can solve this question. Now, so as per the template, we said we will use nums and we will zip with index. And the third thing we will do, fold left. At this level, we will provide um, like what is expected like what is going to change and what is expected 
So here we can find something different instead of expected is we the different difference mean that target is given minus we can subtract sum of three numbers n plus n1 plus n2 and that should be closest to our target that should be minimum this is what is expected here so we will use for left and uh, then we can simply use a case where we will say that will be our answer and that is the num which is n here and which is green this is n actually and the next pointer will be from starting from i which is an index we will we will use that and now here we will call some recursive function which is this is actually our two pointer coding pattern that is two pointer here we will provide the num which is our green at green index here here we will provide i plus one which point to our left here we will say that is nums dot length minus one which points to our right index and we will also provide the difference which is our in, in this case is answer and we will implement that two pointer coding pattern which will be pretty simple that we will say def go all those parameter here what is going to do here will be the base condition in the recursive solution here will be the base condition that we will check the pointer that left and right shouldn't cross each other and uh, the rest will be the logic which we have already seen the logic is pretty simple we will take the sum we will check the difference and we will make recursive call it will be pretty much same as what we did three sum target and that in this case we just have to find closest three sum let's go to the code and there we can discuss all right so now let's see how we can solve this question using two point coding pattern first thing we already know there are three conditions once that met we have to apply two point coding pattern the first array of num is given and it should be sorted the current array is not sorted so we will sort it second uh, they were expecting some collection or set of numbers in that case they were expecting three num and the third thing they were saying uh, closest that sum should be closest sum to the target to the target which is provided once these three conditions are met we can move forward and now we can apply the two-pointer coding pattern first thing what we will do we will say sort the array sorting dot quick sort which is an in place sort for the array and I can import scala.util dot sorting yes now the first thing is done second part what we will do we will try to find a difference so we will say find a diff that diff should be uh, target minus threesum so that should be like this so target diff will be target minus n plus n1 plus n2 and uh, that should be actually minimum this is what we have to try to find minimum that difference so what we will do we will follow the same thing we will say nums dot zip with index dot full left in the full left we will say here we will provide what is we were trying to make minimum so this is the difference initially we will say in dot max value so this is the maximum difference we were thinking about that okay now we will use a case and that is the diff and here is num which is uh, n and that is the index that's a initial uh, index of in, in the array in our discussion that is the green pointer 
Now we will call, let's suppose, some function that is close as diff. That will here we will provide num. That is num is uh, the number at in green green index. Left will start from the next one, and uh, right will be nums dot length minus one, and here we will provide div which is working as a accumulator in this case. Now once we will get this difference to find the actual sum what we will do we will say target minus div that will return the actual sum right okay so we will go further here we will write def closest div that will be n and it will be our left here we will use right and that will be our difference which we have to find now uh, how we will solve this question pretty simple we will provide the base condition at this level base condition right that base condition will be that left should not be greater than equal to right in that case we should close this we should terminate our recursion else part we will keep on finding our solution what how we will try to find we'll say wall diff uh, sorry that sum should be n plus nums at index left plus nums at index right so once we will find that we will say if math dot absolute the difference so target minus sum if this is less than our previous difference math dot absolute of diff if were the previous difference is greater than our current difference in that case we found some solution now once we found some solution here is little bit trick we are not going to move left forward or right forward we will keep them on the same place and now at that time we will say target minus sum now why we are doing that because we were not moving the these uh, two pointer forward or right backward because we want to get the this uh, like uh, because this is the difference we want to come to know where it should go next in our next conditions like else part if let's suppose we keep the same left and right pointer in the next iteration it will go not here because that will say diff is equal to the same because it is equal to this it will come here to the else condition now in the else part we will say if sum is less than target if it is less and now we have to think either we have to move left or we have to move right so that that's the reason we never uh, move left and right together because there is a chance that if we move left further only we found three numbers which will be closest sum to the target right hopefully that will be clear okay so we will say closest diff now we will say num left plus one left further and right will remain same and diff will be here in the else part we will only move closest diff and n left will remain same right will move one step back diff will be here once that will be done our solution will be ready let's run this question and that works